Okay, so today we're talking spaghetti squash. All you're going to see is my uh, dry hands today because quite frankly my hair looks like doo-doo. Uh, I don't have any makeup on and I'm wearing sweatpants. So it is what it is. But some of you have noticed that we eat a lot of spaghetti squash when I post meals on Facebook. And you asked me how I do it. So I thought I would just show you real quick. Uh, this is a spaghetti squash. Uh, Ingles, where I shop, carries them all the time, which is convenient for me because we eat a lot and I like them all year long. Obviously, they're their cheapest in the fall when they're harvested. Uh, so I think I pay about 99 cents a pound. So uh, that's what I get these for. But first, what you want to do is wash it and cut it in half. Several times I've considered going downstairs and getting one of Barry's saws and cutting it in half because it's, it's hard to cut. Uh, but I try not to play with Barry's tools while he's at work. Actually, I try not to play with Barry's tools in general because considering I injure myself with a hot glue gun, a drill would not be a good thing. I already started it uh, because I didn't want you to hear me grunting. I didn't think that would be very flattering. So I'm almost done and I'm going to finish cut it in half and I'm still grunting anyway. Now, there we go. How beautiful was that? See inside? It's got seeds, so what you need to do is get a spoon of some sort and just sort of pull the seeds out. It's pretty easy. I just scrape, 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 scrape. It doesn't have to be perfect unless you're a perfectionist. I think to do this in the microwave but we don't use a microwave we don't even have one anymore so I do mine in the oven now I've got that all scraped out I take a baking dish or you can even use a cookie sheet and I put my halves down face down like this and I add a little bit of water in the bottom so they can sort of steam and I'm probably showing you my arm. So just a little bit, see. I put them in the oven and I bake them at 350 for about an hour. And then I can take my uh, fork and pull down the strands. And I'll come back in a little bit and show you how that works. Just so you can see the miracle spaghetti squash. And I won't bore you for an hour with soliloquies from me. Um, I'll turn it off and we'll come back in an hour. Okay, here we are back after an hour. And I'm going to put my of glove on, which has seen better days, as you can tell. And I've flipped them over, and now I'm just going to take the tines of my fork and just pull down. See how it makes noodles? All you have to do is just pull, 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 pull all the way around until you get down to the shell. If you uh, pull it out, uh, pull the squash out, and it doesn't um, pull down like this very easily, it shouldn't take much effort at all. Stick it back in the oven for a few minutes. It should very easily come down. I use my of glove a lot. And then, I'm actually putting this in Pioneer Woman's chicken, uh, uh, Cajun chicken pasta over here. Uh, we use spaghetti squash a lot instead of noodles. I'll show you this in a second. I'm just scraping it right in. If you don't have an of glove, they are a wonderful investment. Now, I still got just a little bit left. Actually, I just dumped a whole bunch right on the counter right here, and I did that to intentionally show you how easy it is to pick up. <laughs> Do this side too. I hope you're not getting bored. More than likely, you're probably getting hungry. I think I'll pull my spaghetti spoon out. And pick it up. And dump it in my mixture. Gosh, I sure am glad I saw that. I'm a genius. Why haven't I been doing that the whole time? Pull, 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 pull. 
usually I let it cool, but Barry's almost home from work. I like to have dinner ready. That's Annie you hear in the background, who I told to be quiet, but she's three, so. There we go. Here comes Barry. Dottie being loud. Dottie, too. Welcome to the Myers family.